In this lesson, I want to give you a front-end overview of the SP database uh, component here from Joom Shaper. So this is their demo site that they set up. And if you scroll through it, you get a really good idea of you know, the functionalities, the capabilities, and things like that. So this is what it looks like. And there's so many things that you can do with this. But I'm just focused on how you can use the core extension and to be able to build something. So you can uh, <clears throat> you can check out here their different uh, different pages, and you can check out the different type of movies to have the latest movies. And I'm going to show you how to do this this too. Uh, one thing when you create a site like this is you want to you know give people options when you're looking for stuff. So if you want to focus on a particular genre, you can do that. Or if you want it to be just a variety of different movies. Uh, you can certainly do that. But what I've noticed is that, you know, when you're starting out, you know, the best way for you to do is you want to focus focus on a particular genre. Uh, because by focusing on one, then you can be able to build your database. So if you want to, you can get licenses from, you know, contact some indie filmmakers and, and, you know, let them know what you're doing. And then you can be able to get, you know, licenses from that. So you have here, you have the movies, you have the latest movies, featured, upcoming, and trailers. So we're going to be doing that on the, this, you know, throughout this course. I'll show you how you can set something like that up. So when you go over to the latest section here, it shows you the latest uh, movies that, you know, are out. You know, by the way, this is a demo. So these are, some, some of them don't, you know, show up the right videos, but this is just to give you an idea of what you can create. And you have your comedy, you know, romantic, action, drama, adventure, um, and things like that. So when you put your mouse over it, you can click on it to get a preview before watching it. And if you notice, you get this little X here. So what that means is that if people want to, you know, they don't want to watch anymore, they can always X out of it. So from there, you know, just click on the X. Or if you want to get a little more detail about the movie, you click on the name of it itself and it gives you a little more detail with the thumbnail right there in the background picture and uh, the story and things like that. These are all things that you're going to be able to add on the back end. In another lesson, I'll show you what the back end looks like. And it has your nice, you know, nice uh, videos, um, things like that. So you have to comment. So I'm going to be going over that, you know, soon. But I just want to show the front end. And this here, we see the search part here. This is a, a module that we're going to add. And the mo module come pre-designed, uh, pre so it's going to look exactly like this here, where it has the movies, uh, celebrities, and trailers. So when you start typing here, let me just type in. When you start typing, it's like Ajax. It automatically just... Uh, post that name for you. So if the movie is in the database, then it's going to automatically uh, put that for you. So you have this there once you type it in the shows. And then you have the, the login feature. So this is really, really cool. Uh, the front end, you know, users get an idea of what the movie is about. And you have 100% control over what they're able to, um, to access. And I'm going to show you how later on, how if you wanted to block certain movies from the general public, or if you want to block certain pages from the general public, you can do that as well. So in the next lesson, we're going to take a look at the, you know, the back end functionality of this thing.